Friends, welcome. This is a track from the new album. It's called No One Knows Nothing Anymore. The first album I bought was Bridge Over Troubled Water. Uh, I got a job in a, uh, a hardware shop in Barking where I grew up, right. uh, which had a record store in its basement. It sounds a bit weird now, doesn't it? I took swimming round and round, scientists monitor readings. Searching for the guys in the record sh store downstairs at the hardware shop used to put music on for me, and I used to sit in a listening booth, which in the record shops they either had headphones like they have here. I had a little room about half the size of this. And I used to spend my lunch hour and I'd go and get a sticky bun and a cup of tea from the shop across the road and they'd put me in there and they'd put on Bob Dylan's greatest hits. And for the first time I heard the, the raw version, Dylan's version, Mr. Tambourine Man. Yeah. And it just blew my mind. Nobody really knows the score Since nobody knows anything Let's breathe down and start again. Because you know, I toured America in the 80s, so an average American record store would have a gospel section so big, so amazing. You could buy uh, vinyl copies of the um, sermons that were given by Aretha Franklin's father. And John Peel was absolutely obsessed by these records, and he always asked me if I saw any of them yeah. to buy them and bring them back for him. So if I saw one, I'd always buy, get a copy for Peel and a copy for myself. You know, and they were cool things like. The great speckled bird, you know. What if there's nothing, no pot of gold to find? Only the blind lead in the blind. No one knows the Well, I've got a lovely record shop in Bridport. I'm very fortunate that um, where I live in, in West Dorset. Uh, there's a brick, there's a store there, and they sell you know guitar bits as well. There were a little local store, been there 20 years. You know, I I did uh, a record store gig there a couple of years ago. Let's break it down and start again. Let's stop pretending that we can manage our way out of here. Let's stop defending the indefensible. Let's stop relying on the hectoring of the experts whose spin just makes our plight incomprehensible. High up on a mountain top, somebody with a skinny crop is thinking the thoughts for us all. On the internet, you need to know what you're looking for. Mm. In a record store, it's all there, I can you know in a huge cavern where a, a dragon has stored diamonds and gold and silver, you're in it. It's all there. Let's break it down and start again. Thanks very much for coming out. I'll see you down there. Handshake, signage, all those kind of things. My name's Billy Bragg, I'm from Bargain Essex. Good night. Well, I think Record Store Day is important to raise awareness because when we're out on the road travelling, you know, there's a lot of time hanging around. So record shops in towns out there are the only thing standing between us and serious self-abuse. No worries, guys. See you. Cheers. Nice one.